Well, Mr. Young didn't show up yesterday for his uh, CSNY video, so I felt bad, dude. Hey, let's do it. Hi, guys. Welcome to Leave Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm trying my best. I'm very tired, but it is what it is. Happy Easter if you celebrate such things. Happy Spring Equinox to everybody else. Um, hope you have a wonderful, safe day because it's supposed to be nice, at least where I'm at. So hopefully it's nice where you're at if you do, you know, things outside. <laughs> Some people don't anymore. We're going to be listening to Cinnamon Girl. Uh, I believe it is live. Where is it live from? Let me see. It's uh, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, Cinnamon Girl, live 1991 in real HD. Ooh, I guess we'll have to see if their claim is true. Um, I'm very excited because y'all hyped this song up out of all the songs off that album. I think this was the one that was mentioned the most, other than Down by the River. And I think we did most of the big ones off there. So we're just going to be doing this live performance as a little fun Easter egg um, of a video. And we'll get back to whatever else we're going to do next week. So let's go. If y'all are not subscribed, please help the brother out. Click the icon right below my face. I really appreciate it. it. Takes like two seconds. Two seconds. Jesus. It's absolutely free. And it really helps the channel out. All right. Neil Young, a crazy horse, cinnamon girl, live in three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Yep. That's the nineties. That is sick. Chicks dig Neil Young. You didn't know that, Lee? How could you not? Listen to that guitar. Really? Okay, it's like a whole last minute left. Don't play it, bro. 
The Beatles did that shit to me once. I'm not falling for it again. Just watching him, just waiting. <laughs> oh, Neil. Dude, that was sick as fuck. That was so good. Um, Playing with fire right now, Lee. I'm stacking all these things on my light post right here. Um, we'll see how that works out. If you hear a boom, you know why. Um, man, what a performance, dude. Neil puts on a show at like... It doesn't matter what the era is, because that original album came out, what, the, the 60s? Like the late 60s, right? Let me check. Hold on. Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Yeah, right there. So they started in 1969, and they're still going to this day, apparently. So what was... All right, so yeah, their first album was 71. Wait, no. Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Yeah, everyone knows This Is Nowhere is 1969. So that's the album that we were doing. And then there's Zuma, Russ Never Sleeps. There's a whole bunch of fucking albums for them. So let's see. Their lineup for 1990. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the... All right. So yeah, it's still... So the only other person I haven't heard of Frank <laughs> San Pedro on guitar and vocals, Poncho. Uh, Billy Talbot on the bass guitar, Ralph Molina, Doc Ock himself back there, killing it on the drums, and uh, Neil Young, of course, on guitar and vocals. Um, that was a great showing. Like it, Even though this is 21, 22 years after the album came out, I guess, 21, I don't know. Um, he was still up there rocking it. I bet they could still play it and rock it um, You know, to this day if it was still... See, it doesn't even, it won't even let you click on. Yeah, so yeah, he's still, uh, I guess he's still out playing music. I don't know if he's retired or not, um, Neil. Uh, but like, I feel that to this day, they could still go out there and rock it like that. You know, it, he seems timeless. Like he, it, His music from the 60s, the 70s stuff, like whatever. It, like, I don't even know if I've heard him with CSNY yet. Honestly, I don't know if I have or not. Uh, I might have heard him playing guitar, but apparently he's on Woodstock and like maybe like one or two other songs, you know, on that album. And I started that album because of him. <laughs> I was like, wait, oh, so he's on this too. That's so funny. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. Billy Talbot on the bass, uh, and Alfred Molina on the drums. They all did great here, but th that was honestly the Neil and Poncho show. Just the guitar riff city. Like it was just insane, man. That's how it is with Neil though. It's just chaos guitar and amazing riffs that just get stuck in your head like the earworm ones like as someone on this channel likes to say just like digs in your mind and then you'll be humming it like the next day sort of thing and it just gets stuck with you for the rest of your life and, and it feels like all those songs from that every um everybody knows this is nowhere or whatever it's called it's uh it's a heavy album man like they have a lot of it's a very like mature uh, but in your face kind of rock and roll it's neil young and it, it's so raw and real and i i don't know man i just can't get enough of just every thing this man's been a part of uh even up to like harvest like i've harvest moon like i've listened to i think some of the more recent compared to the older stuff you know but still not technically recent but every era i've listened to him in he's just been present and just been himself you know i think that's the number one thing is he never uh at least in his music i don't know it's about his personal life but at least his musical ability he never really lost who he was because he was just always him he wasn't fronting it wasn't an act you know neil young is neil young and 
he just went out there every day and uh, did what he loved. Hopefully, hopefully he loves it. You know, I don't know the man, but seems like he really enjoys it. And he just goes out there and plays whatever his heart feels like sort of thing. And he puts that heart on said sleeve right there. Everyone to see for the entire world to see. He just bears his soul. I think that's so uh, brave and fucking awesome, dude. That's so rad. Like he's so talented and creative, uh, but at the same time, he's not a he's a very atypical guitarist and you know singer, all that. But it's still great music, and he's a great songwriter in his own right. But you pair him with all those other guys, and you know that, I guess that's how. Well, I don't know. I don't know the history technically of like who is popular or what back then. You know, because y'all have just been throwing all this music my way, but. I don't know what was more popular than this or, you know, who had more fans. It doesn't really matter, you know, but I don't know if he got his. Well, I mean, he already him and Crazy Horse already had a record out before he joined, you know, Crosby, Stills and Nash for that one album. Um, but then apparently he just recorded all of most of it by himself and they just overdubbed it later. So who knows, man? Stories uh, of Laurel Canyon, I guess. <laughs> We've been doing all kinds of artists connected to them, and I've been meaning to get to this documentary, apparently, that everyone's been talking about, about Laurel Canyon. And um, I might do that. That'd be interesting. That'd be a fun watch, right? Um, but yeah, I, I, that was a great riff. Uh, it's going to be stuck in my head for days, probably. Usually it is with Neil Young songs. Um, but that was a great video too, just to see him out there doing his thing and seeing Crazy Horse. I've never seen them before. I think I've seen Neil Young, but I've never, I haven't seen them before. Maybe I haven't seen Neil. I don't know. I lose track. I've been, I do so many damn videos, but my musical knowledge has expanded so much that I can't. I can take it all now, and I can learn jazz at the same. Listen to jazz. Do this. Do that. I'm trying to do shorter songs, obviously, because I've been with the girls and I'm really tired. And I get home really late. Like it's fucking late as fuck right now, but. I still want y'all to have something to watch for to, for today or whenever you watch it. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. That is it out of me. If y'all don't know, the Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There is a link in the description. Uh, click that. Uh, join the $15 tier or up and you get one free request a month. The Patreon thread for uh, April will be going out to tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, whenever I feel like it, but it'll come out tomorrow. And then you can just post your artist's name, song name, or you can just type or link the video. That's very helpful as well. So I can make sure I do the right one because sometimes I mess up. So I don't want to fuck your shit up. Um, if you want to just do PayPal too for requests or a tip, you can always do that too. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out. Um, but if you like the bonus content, you want to watch all the album reactions. I've got like Beatles stuff. I'm supposed to be completing Please Please Me, but I don't have time for it this week, obviously, because of uh family stuff so i'm gonna just have to do that next week i did do i mean I, I did do a beatles track but it's kind of a shorter one so hopefully it gets on youtube though but there's tons of albums in there there's like four beatles albums almost um some jethro toll albums all kinds of stuff man it's fun and we have a great community we have a discord server if you want to come chat and hang out with us we just bullshit we're, we're a fun group we're pretty uh easy going just uh don't touch grass you know just don't walk on it i appreciate it it's new <laughs> thank you guys have a good one Bye.